in this video we are going to discuss about vlan trunking protocol which is vtp protocol so vlan is developed by cisco to minimize the vlan administration effort in a switch network which made it a proprietary of cisco protocol so coming to here there is another protocol which is developed by ieee standard so that is called garp vlan so that is like garp vlan registration protocol which is gvrp and there is they introduced a new one also recently which is multiple vlan registration protocol mvrp so this is only a specifically proprietary of cisco and this is a this is a open standard version which is comparable with ieee standard and also as you know that there are two important tasks here when you are configuring the vtp mode so you see the two tasks are creating vlans and assigning switch ports to the vlan so there are two important tasks in configuring the vtp here those two are here creating vlans and assigning them to the switch ports to the vlans here so for that the first task requires network administration more into the network administration to define all the vlans on each switch in a switch network so on each switch configuring the vlans so the network administration will be high uh, highly responsible for creating that first task here if performed manually by logging into each switch so this require performing manually logging into each switch and making changes to the configuration there so for this what this happened is this this, this is a very a tedious task here to log into each and every switch and configure the vlans there so for that what they did done is like vlan trunking protocol has been introduced so that what happens is vtp just makes it easier to define vlans here that means this vtp configuration this protocol has made easy because if you make changes to a central switch and propagating that information to the whole switch network which is interconnected in a centralized switch so that through vtp messages here so when you configure this vtp protocol in a central switch this switch will propagate vtp messages to the other linked switches in the switch network and through this vtp messages the information to the whole switch network will be propagated and in this manner vtp allows more consistent vlan configuration and accurate tracking and troubleshooting and monitoring of the central administration of the vlans here so by this vtp protocol the central administration of the vlans is monitored and tracked accurately and it is helpful in configuring the vlans here 